Today I'm talking about the necessary items you need for your caravan and motorhome. Overall, there's just, there is no space in the caravan, so you have to be really picky with what you end up keeping. I suppose my big tip would be when you first buy the motorhome, maybe stay a week in an area with lots of shops so you can figure out what you're missing and like that first week I got the caravan I was back and forth to Mitre 10, Kmart and uh, Burns Co non-stop just from little items that I didn't really think about. You want to go for as little as possible with the cut toy. Bag pies, they're actually strangely handy and Healer, spatula. I've only got one knife, but I also want to get a bread knife that's going to come in handy. A pair of scissors and a combination can opener and bottle opener. There's seriously not much room for pots and pans. I have one fry pan and one pot. I think I could possibly get away with two pots. <laughs> and then it's worth having a couple of tea towels and um, oven gloves. <laughs> And my caravan came with a cooking tray in the oven and one of my favorite purchases disposable baking trays if you have fat in any of your cooking it suddenly becomes a nightmare to clean afterwards <laughs> less mess you'll also want a kettle and a toaster when i first started i got the electric variations but now that i'm running off solar panels i use a stove top kettle and then i grill toast in the little griller here and it, it came with this set up so I didn't have to buy anything extra. Now this cutting board came with the caravan too. It's designed to perfectly sit on top of the sink which is just very handy. And I don't need any others. It also came with a drying rack but I find it's so bulky I didn't actually ever use it. Um, its home was under here but it, I don't know I'd rather I wanted to use the space for something else so I've actually got rid of that. And instead I've just gone for this little drying mat. <laughs> Does the job. This has my plates and bowls, mugs and glasses. Um, just again, try to have as little as possible what you only need. And avoid glass because the caravan moves a lot when you're driving and I think it would smash very easily. I've got this clever nesting measurement cup teaspoon set. Great for saving space and then a little sieve lives up here too. Just containers for leftover food or spices or flour. <laughs> and then sandwich bags are crazy helpful for put anything and everything storage wise. And then glad wrap, tin foil and baking paper <laughs> are handy to have. This is my favorite for the combination shower toilets. It's just great for getting all that water that's sitting on the ground. Don't have to touch it, it's great. And these are really handy. They're just non-stop wipes and yet you never run out. You need your normal dish brush, fly spray because there's insects everywhere. Um, yeah, it's just normal stuff. Okay, you want um, a small version of a dustpan. It's very handy because it's just a tiny place. So sometimes you just want to do the corners or some small items just fall on the ground. It's all you need, really. This is actually a new find for me. It's sugar soap as wipes. And sometimes there's just been marks that are a little bit harder to get off. And this just does the job. It's when you find. And then you'll find every person living in a van swears by these. I love them too, they're just wet wipes. So this is a floor mop that um, just uses wipes and then you throw the wipe afterwards. Bucket's just handy. I use it a lot for cleaning the exterior of my caravan. This one's completely full, it's actually a bit gross at the moment, but I need to buy some new ones. Disposable moisture absorbers. Really handy for under the bed um, and yeah, who wants mold? New Zealand's quite moldy. And drain clearing. Now I'm still trying to figure out what the best system is. Someone told me Coca-Cola, another person told me fabric softener lubricates the pipes and then I just found this random one in a hardware store. Now let me know your favorite in the comments below. 
and CRC or grease for stabilizing legs and jockey wheel. After a while they do start to squeal a bit. I've ended up with different types of screwdrivers, pliers, different screws and the handy um, what's it called? And then some basics, needle and thread, because you always need them, and permanent marker for if you're sharing something communally. And having a road map's just handy because in New Zealand you can't always get reception. Washing detergent, I use capsules just because there's less chance of uh, spillage when you're driving around and you can just shove one of these in the bag of laundry and you don't have to like the whole thing with you. And then just your laundry bag. And then pegs are just always handy. You, just, you never know if the campground's gonna have some or whatever. There's not a huge amount of room in, in the cupboard, so minimal, minimal outfits. A place for drying your clothes. I've got this. It just folds out and then also expands this other way. <laughs> quite clever because sometimes you just have a wet towel that needs to dry or it starts raining and you don't want to spend money on the laundry so you end up with everything inside the caravan <laughs> and then I recommend two towels and one of them as a beach towel and your cupboard I had no place for my socks and t-shirts etc so I've bought one of these hanging wardrobe dividers that works perfectly and then just one of these foldable boxes so you've got your normal toiletries, toothbrush, deodorant, whatever. And toilet paper. You can get the fancy stuff from specialized stores or just go for the two-ply in supermarkets. It's not quite the same, it doesn't break down quite as fast, but it's okay. It saves you a little bit more money. And these are my toilet chemicals. This is for in the toilet cassette and this is for in the caravan flushing system and I don't know combination of these two keeps the smells away and it decomposes everything so you want a good hose I bought this and then found out I should have got one that you can safely drink from that would be have been more handy this is very handy this goes onto the tap and then plugs into here and this one has two sizes which is really handy because taps are randomly different sizes here. So you'll find half the campgrounds have these and half don't. My broom used to live under the bed, but now it's here. It fits. Um, I've ended up using it mainly for washing the exterior of the caravan. When I first got it, I was looking for one that I could dismantle and make really small, but I don't know. It doesn't take up much room. There's, you know, a couple of places I can keep it. What I learned before, make sure you have a jack. <laughs> it's kind of needed. This came with the caravan. It's for getting the spare wheel off. These are my levelers. It's for if the ground's wonky, um, I can just drive the, tire, the caravan up. I want to one of these on one tire, but you need a choke. So I have tried a couple of times and the caravan's ended up falling off. If it's just this, but hopefully next time I will succeed with the choke as well. And a towing mirror is handy, but I wouldn't recommend these suction cups. I find it just gets in the way of me actually being able to see in the other main mirror. So you've got, you can get ones that clip on the outside, I'd recommend. And you can actually see who's stuck behind you. And my wheel lock. And I found my insurance company would only insure me if I had this type of lock on, so it's best to check as well. And a mat for outside. If the ground gets really wet, then the, the steps start to sink into the ground. <laughs> Levelers are really handy, but you should get it with the caravan. In summer, a fan is a must. <laughs> Last summer I was in the South Island where there was still snow, so didn't bother me but this summer in the North Island I really need a fan and then a hot water bottle this one I found very very helpful in winter and again in South Island when there was still snow <laughs> fire hydrant is definitely needed and if you're getting your self-containment you need one of these to pass 
And my caravan came with the smoke detector already installed. I think I think you need it for your self containment as well. And I'm currently looking into getting a gas detector as well. That's been something I've always kind of worried about since I use uh, quite a lot of gas. So I have two sets of sheets just because you never know with the weather you might be washing them and I don't know, it starts raining like now. Um, and then it's the usual whatever pillows, blankets, do they? And then I also have a queen size sheet for the spare bed just because it's a different size. So that's it. That's my list of necessary accessories for a caravan or a motorhome. So I'm basically showing you my whole caravan, everything I have stored in it. Uh, is there anything you think is necessary? Like I didn't mention internet or anything to do with entertainment. Let me know in the comments below.